Hey guys, what is up? Bedpan Mining here. How you guys all doing? Hope you're all doing really well and having a really great day. In this video, I just want to explain how to keep up with the current mining software for your graphics cards, the ones that you're using on your mining rigs, whether you are in Windows or whether you are using, you know, a Linux-based mining operating system like Hive OS. And so, you know, you'll, you'll want to keep up with some of the mining software that has updates. You know, there's going to be updates occasionally, maybe every couple days or maybe every couple weeks. And, you know, there's going to be an optimization that you will want to look at because it might help get more maybe efficiency, maybe more hash rate on your GPUs. Okay, so really simple and I'll have links down below to all this software to the legitimate like githubs and so I hope this video will help some new miners that are coming in just to understand you know where to find this software and all that good stuff okay so first I want to begin with let's do the Linux mining operating systems like Hive OS I, I would say this is one of the most popular mining operating systems that a lot of people use and so with Hive OS they have updates pretty much I would say every every day or if not every other day Day. and they update the mining softwares and also maybe have some fixes or anything to their mining system and so the best place that I like to see you know in terms of what comes up what kind of upgrades that they have and they even say here keep track of changes and updates to Hive OS is their change log and I'll have this link down below and so for example just as of recording today okay September 20th they've added T-Rex Miner the latest version that added the partial LHR unlock functionality for 30 series cards for ETHash algorithm. And then they also added the FeroPow algorithm for the upcoming Fero hard fork. So this is great. This is great for people that may want to mine Fero as they're going to be changing to a new algorithm. Fero Pow, that's that's really cool. So this kind of information gets you ready to understand, you know, what's to come and also helps bring awareness to what's happening with Fero. I think that's that's really awesome. And uh, maybe I'll do another video on Fero and talking about their uh, new algorithm here. Basically, I believe it's just prog pow, but it's called Fero pow. So we'll do that in another video. Anyways, so good on Hive OS to have a specific website here. But not only that, I would say most people like to look at their mining rig in Hive OS itself. Okay, so say you are in your worker, you will see this little button here. It says update to the latest version and it's highlighted in yellow. Okay, so if you just click that, then you can see already the change log here as well all right this is actually much easier probably than going to the change log but this is also here as well but anyways you can see this and every time i see it i like to force upgrade reboot after complete and upgrade and it upgrades everything all the new features that they've added here and oh look at this nb minor looks like there's a new lhr mode which i'm going to talk about in a second so there you go that's hive os has a setting for that next one is simple mining they also have a change log and also same thing, same idea as Hive OS. They also have show the minor updates and the uh, additions for T Rex Miner. All right, so they added that as well. So you can use the latest version and the LHR Unlock 30 series cards. And also they added the Fear of Power Algo in their software. So that's, yeah, that's really good if you're using Super Mining and Hive OS. Okay, so th those are the two that I mainly wanted to show for Linux. Now let's talk about Windows, guys. For people that are most likely new new miners in the space that are using Windows if you're going to be downloading these miners manually. So this is the best place on their GitHub, okay, which I'll have linked down below. So 11 hours ago, right? A great example. 11 hours ago, T-Rex just released this miner, which we just talked about that Hive OS and Simple Mining also updated in their mining operating systems as well, right? So you guys can see that both Linux and Windows you can use the latest T-Rex Miner. And just scrolling down here, you can download the repos right here, okay? T-Rex Miner 0.221 for Linux or 0.22.1 for Windows, all right? Most likely, if you're in Linux and you're using Hive OS and Simple Mining, you, you won't need to download it manually. It's gonna be, like I, I showed you earlier, already downloaded once you hit and upgrade your rig like this, right? So yeah, for Windows users though, you're most likely gonna hit this and download it. And so what I wanted to show you more in depth here. I've already downloaded it and extracted the miner in my downloads folder just 
typical thing I think most miners would do and uh, I would highly advise making a new folder on the C drive and setting up the proper antivirus settings and exclusions and all that kind of stuff within that folder. You don't want to just turn off your antivirus for your whole Windows machine as who knows, right? Something may happen. Anyways, there's a lot more info on the T-Rex miner here. So they have an LHR uh, just a, like a document here, uh, LHR guide, all right? So there's going to be a lot more information here for people that are going to, you know, use Windows. And so there's going to be a lot of different tuning methods here, you know, the dash dash LHR dash tune. They have 0, 1, 4, 8, and all these different parameters that you can use while you're in Windows, okay? So give this a read for, for those that are buying 30 series GPUs that are LHR'd and you're wanting to maybe try it out, right? And so if you're in Windows, you'll want to read all this, give it a try. They also have another README here, I'll blow this up, that there's a lot of other parameters which I highly recommend people use. And especially for new miners coming in, I know that the best ones I like to use in Windows is going to be the dash dash lock dash C clock, as this locks the GPU core and will give you better efficiency. Okay, so uh, there's plenty of videos on YouTube about this. Uh, I think I've done one for, I think Windows I did. Yeah, T-Rex Miner in Windows and in Hive OS as well. There's absolute core clock uh, in Hive OS there. Okay, going along, you know, there's also dash dash MT. Uh, this is a memory tweak mode for GDDR5 or GDDR5X GPUs, Pascal GPUs. So this would be for the 1000 series, you know, like... GTX, uh, I would say 1060s, 1070s, 1080s, you know, you can use this parameter here in your batch file in Windows and you can do a range from one to six. So it'll be dash dash MT and then a space and then you would put uh, one or two or three or four and you can test out all the different memory modes, memory tweak modes for your 1000 series GPUs. This will not work for, you know, 20 series or the new 30 series cards. All right, just just a disclaimer there. Okay, going along, a bunch of other parameters for new miners. I mean, I like using the fine tuning Windows only as well. Okay, so they have the dash dash fan, dash dash C clock, dash dash M clock. Instead of using MSI Afterburner, sometimes MSI Afterburner likes to put everything back to stock, which can be devastating for those that may not have, you know, the right power supplies and they're trying to hit that efficiency number on their power supply and their GPU will go back to stock. And so I like T-Rex Miner because if it errors out, it will just close the miner or give you an error and it won't mine anymore. That's one of the benefits of using these parameters in T-Rex Miner in the batch file instead of using MSI Afterburner. And uh, yeah, okay, so anyways, yeah, that's just a quick little thing about Windows Miners and always read, you know, their readmes in the software as there's gonna be some optimizations there that will give you a bit more whether it's efficiency or hash power okay now just to fly through there's a bunch of other miners here so I pretty much like prefaced the how to look at you know just the optimizations for Linux and Hive OS and simple mining you know if you're using those kind of operating systems for in Linux and then for Windows like we're looking at the GitHub on T-Rex Miner. These are just one of the miners that you can use, right? I'm not specifically like, I'm not sponsored by T-Rex or anything. It's just that a T-Rex Miner is actually one that I use a lot. I'm just showing this because also they also have a recent update for the LHR 30 series cards, which I may do a video on or you guys can simply try, right? And another one is uh, LOL Miner. Eight days ago, they updated here. They added a beta feature for the RTX 3000 series, uh, semi-unlock for the LHR V2 cards, giving up to 30% more performance than in the lock state. So interesting, right? There's been more optimizations here coming from LOL Miner, another great miner for AMD and also Nvidia cards. Okay, going along, G Miner, another popular Windows Miner, also Linux Miner. They just released an update five days ago. They said here, detect lock of LHR GPUs, automatically unlock and continue mining. All right, great miner, G Miners, another popular miner a lot of people use. It looks like they also updated it another eight days ago to have more, uh, I guess, more LHR stuff here. So that's that's pretty cool. Good of G Miner. NB Miner, another popular one here, just updated three days ago. They have the new uh, low power mode, LHR mode. Hmm. You have to add the dash LHR dash mode option. Interesting. Okay. Well, man, this is wow. They have a lot of different modes here. LHR dash mode two, one. Interesting. Is able to achieve lower power consumption and temperature, especially suitable for GPUs with GDDR6 
X memory. Ah, 3070 Ti, 3080, 3080 Ti. Oh, well, looks like we're going to have to try that. And then B minor, they don't have a GitHub. I didn't, I couldn't find it, but they do have a website, bminer.me. I'll have it linked down below. Uh, they also have, looks like they have a LHR performance uh, unlock mode as well. I haven't tried B minor, so I guess this is mainly, oh, they said example 3060, RTX 3060. So, hmm, interesting. Phoenix Miner, another popular miner that people use. Uh, they don't have a GitHub, unfortunately. They got deleted from github.com. and uh, But they have a Bitcoin talk, which I'll have a link down below. And they do have some optimizations here. Not for the LHR that, that I can see here, but mainly recently it looks like they got the 6900, 6800, 6700 XT implemented hardware for those cards in Linux. It looks like they had the ROCR kernels for Vega Radeon 7s. Oh, Maybe I'm going to have to try this because I have Radeon 7s. Anyways, guys, and then last one is Team Red Miner. It looks like they just updated 16 days ago and uh, they got some more. Uh, this is mainly for AMD cards, not NVIDIA cards. Team Red Miner, obviously it's in the name. It's only an AMD specific miner. So this is the legit place to download it. Okay, guys, so there you go. That's just a very small case. There's plenty of other mining software out there, but what I showcase today is ones that have been recently updated and I would say for most people right now recently are for people that are going to be using 30 series cards and so a lot of these miners T-Rex miner, LOL miner, um, G miner, NB miner they all have these new LHR modes to unlock the uh, light hash rate to give you guys more hash rate anyways so that's how you guys keep up with the latest and greatest miners, iOS and Linux, simple mining, and also in Windows as well, okay? So anyways, guys, I think that's it. Let me know your thoughts. I appreciate you all, and good luck. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one, and peace out.